it can really impact Lee Sin's ability to actually fight you. So I think that the Nocturne is a very powerful setup. I also think that Nocturne plus Rumble is just a very powerful combo that we've been seeing throughout the world. You throw down the Equalizer, the Nocturne Ultimate comes down. Amount of tankiness there. Really only the Tom Kench likely to be that beefy as the game goes on. Duck. We'll get spotted out. Hook lands. Gonna get booted as well. Gobbled up by Crocs at all this game. It will still be at level one as XL look for a play down towards the bottom side. Dan not yet level six. New Duck neither has that ultimate. On his Q caught underneath the tower by himself. Spectral Moor coming out, but he's hooked out of it. And Nuke no longer has the stun devour. It's going to be used by Danik. Root coming out as well. XL might continue for this. Dan flashes forward, misses the harpoon. Just dashes away. Promise Q, though, will be sacrificed. Nuke Duck gets first blood. Hook just a little bit shy of hitting Jessica. I like this roam from Nuke Duck. Yes, he will lose the. Uh, what do you call it? The, the soul take? The. Sovereign's domain. Yeah, but when he inhabits. In this mid lane. However, Nuke Duck has not seen Just Got and Promise Q on this roam. No flashes on the Astralis bot lane, but no flash on Nuke Duck either. Into the hammered path. Magic Felix lands to Shuriken. Here's White Knight. All of Astralis. They're like, excuse me. Can't believe you left. Flash kick back. Nuke Duck gets over the wall. But Magic Felix will chase him down. Beautifully played by Nuke Duck. But um, Nocturne has always had mana issues, right? Uh, they will get outscaled because yeah. they are playing against this center. And I also think that this bot lane for XL, hang on, flash in. Flash hook onto Dan, doesn't have the equalizer. TP's coming in as both teams look to Barney in the bottom lane. First first kill goes to Promise Q. Magic Felix will answer it though. Dan is dead. Patrick trying to get away from this one. Jessica fighting off Nuke Duck and Denik all on his lonesome. The Dawning Shadow will give them a shield. It's a two for two trade so far. Denik continues to push forward though into Zanzara. And into Magic Felix, New Duck on the chase has possessed that Kaiser, but shouldn't be able to get too much more out of this. Is it being good for them? Because if they force more mid game fights before Senna hits that big spike, I think that they're in a good position. But once this Divine Sundra starts to come through for Patrick, once the Divine Sundra is, you see that really good use of the spell shield there by Cries as well to mitigate the E damage from the Lee Sin, which is the skill that you max yeah. in the one versus one matchup. Good one, Billy. Rift out used in the bottom lane, he's got to charge in. Doesn't quite take down all the plates, and you can see Magic Felix once again on his way down towards the bottom lane. Rift out will die, and this tower still survives. Rick was roaming with the jungler as well at times to secure a couple more stacks from the jungle camps. Hitting that 60, I think, pre-50 minutes is generally pretty good, because then when you get to around the 20, 20 2,000 gold lead, very strong start for them. After yesterday's performance against Rogue, I think we wondered if they could be proactive, if they could get these leads as White Knight. Is the one making the practice plays in the top lane. TP coming in as well, and Kreis doesn't really have anywhere to go here. Doesn't expend the flash. Well done by him, knowing he was dead already. Bit of an overstep there from Kreis. Looking for a flank in mid. That is Rift out going down, but Astralis actually have a man advantage right now. Kreis is on his way up through the river. TP coming in as well. The Rift Herald has been put down. Nine seconds on the Drake. XL using this Rift Herald as a sick player to gain mid priority and then work their way down towards the Cloud Dragon. And it looks like Astralis may give it up with this TP coming in behind here. Patrick flashed in on, there's the knockup. Denik is the first target, he's still got the thick skin. There is the hellish nightmare paranoia equalizer combo coming out, but it just doesn't quite have the damage. First kill goes over to White Knight as they look for a little bit more. Nuke Duck has to flash away. White Knight burning down, but all of Astralis have been able to walk away. However, XL have so much more health. Many low health members on the side of Astralis, but none of them end up dropping. It will cost them the third Drake of the game, but just goes to show that Astralis can win out on these fights. You can see that Nuke Duck, if he had gone a reset, that fight would have gone in the favor of XL, but he couldn't quite get the kill needed. Once again, Magic Felix is in a very strong position. Denik. Hasn't got Flash, doesn't really have anywhere to go here. He's gonna get chased down. There's the Equalizer coming out. The Thick Skin will save Denik with the Dawning Shadow. And now White Knight might be in for a world of hurt as he's gonna have to try and dash away. Safeguard used, TP coming in from XL as Kreis joins the fray. Doesn't have the Paranoia as of yet. White Knight's gonna go the long way around to try and catch out these two Astralis players. And it is a long way back to safety for White Knight and Zanzara. Here's the Abyssal Voyage, a little bit short. There's the Paranoia. Cries diving in, looking for Zanzara first. White Knight going forward as well, and Zanzara will fall. The reset coming in. White Knight will be able to escape. New Duck tries to get close enough, but he won't close down on the Astralis top lane. And meanwhile, Promise Q and Magic Felix are just taking a tower in the mid lane. A lot of time was spent by XL chasing after that kill. If it gets down to the wire once again, as it seems to continue being very, very close as we approach the 20-minute mark.
Yeah, Patrick as well is up. Clear out some of the vision in his side of the jungle and then start passing towards his team again. This is some of the advantages that Astralis do have, and I like this use of the TP. It's a double TP, both White Knight and Magic Phoenix are on the way. The Paranoid coming out, and there's the Equalizer as well, but already Astralis are looking to burst them down. Cry diving into the back line. Magic Phoenix gets one, gets two. Dan's dead. White Knight takes the third as Nuked up balls, and Cry is going to get chased off towards the top of this fight. Blast Cone only knocks him up in place, and Jessica takes him down. Really good team fight from Astralis. They recognize that they had the numbers advantage. A huge team fight win. Very well played by Astralis, and they should be able to get themselves the Baron off the back of it. And once again, we see an Akali getting a couple of early kills and then really taking over team fights. Magic Felix now 4 0, 3, 2 items complete. Baron taken for the split. See Nukeduck facing into uh, Promise Q as well. Promise Q just a little bit wide with that hook. Kreis does have TP and he's now pushing out bottom lane, but Astralis have taken the tier 2 in the top lane. They have a wave coming in in the mid lane as well as White Knight will start to pound down on that tower. Uh, another turret to them. Five to two in favor of Astralis in terms of towers, a 6,000, 5,000 gold lead for them. Now they are working their way up towards this inhibitor line. Will Cry's TP and Equalizer used to clear out the way, but that tower is already gone. Cry is now looking to get into this fight. The paranoia coming out, but Cry hasn't TP'd. It's so late. Dan's already dead before Cry even lands. And XL just a little bit late on the trigger there. Astralis walking straight through the front door. White Knight diving in, diving back. It's a little bit too greedy from him right there. We'll get both flashes out from Patrick and Dango. Oh, he goes back Knight in. Flash kick again. This man has a laser sight on the enemy AD carry when it matters most. White Knight finds the pick. And following up, Magic Felix gets another. Astralis with some great late game team fights. An incredible double TP play in the mid lane. And with their second win of summer, their best ever start to the LEC. Last time, we were all the way in week three before they had two wins, Vedius. Now they have it on day two. Beautiful stuff from Astralis. The way in which they...